All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Windows Phone 8.1 preview update so that everybody can get the Windows Phone 8.1 preview update. <laughs> All right, this is just a quick video tutorial on how to get that update, ladies and gentlemen. I will try to make this as fast as possible and um, as thorough as possible without any video editing. Okay, the first thing you want to do is pull up the Internet Explorer and you want to Bing search for some reason I couldn't pull it up using Google search engine and I know a lot of people like to use the Google search engine so I'm going to pull it up the way that I know using Bing.com from, from there you will type in Windows Phone 8.1 developer preview as a matter of fact developer preview let's say download okay once you put in Windows Phone 8.1 developer preview download you will go to the website called softpedia.com that's this link right here softpedia.com gives you a description on how to get the Windows Phone 8.1 developer preview as well they give you the instructions this is what I use to get the update to my Samsung Ative S Neo with Sprint. All you have to do, the first thing you do is <clears throat> you have to have a developer's account. So either you will have the $19 a year developer account or you can get the free account from App Studio. This is a free account with Microsoft App Studio that's seen as a developer account that you can use to get the update what you do is once you come to this page you would click right here to register for the account it's free it's fast simple no problem you click on this link right here and you will come to this page which is appstudio.windowsphone.com you would then sign in with your Microsoft account as you can see right here I already created an account called I want WP 8.1 at outlook.com which means I want Windows Phone 8.1 and basically all I need to do now is type in the password once you type in the password you will get this page right here that says let this app access your info all you have to do is click yes simple no problem once you click yes you have this page you click on this box right here to accept the terms and conditions um, Username, let's just change that to um, well, same thing. I'll keep it the same thing. I want WP 8.1 and we will register, ladies and gentlemen. Once this is done, you're good to go. There's nothing else you need to do here. You do not have to start a new project none of that good stuff you're already done unless you feel like creating some apps and you want to play with it it's fine if that's what you want to do go ahead and do it but those of you who are not heavy developers don't worry about it all you have to do from here is go to the email they will send you an email confirmation to download the certificate to your Windows Phone device you would go to the email and as you can see right here it came up Windows Phone App Studio you will click on this but you will not do this from the computer ladies and gentlemen I prefer you to do this from your phone if you have your email synced with your phone pull it up directly from your phone okay do not use the PC I'm just giving you an example and instructions with the PC but do this from your phone once you do this from your phone um, it will say before you install a Windows Phone App Studio application you must install this certificate on your phone that is why I want you to do this from your phone you can do it from here and then download it save it to your PC and sync it to your phone but it's just easier to pull this up through the email on your phone and open it up from there once you do that from your phone clicking on that link there and saving it to your phone you can then move on to the next step but once you I, I must advise you once you open this up on your phone all you have to do is um let me see you open it up from your phone I'm, I'm remembering this out my head ladies and gentlemen 
um, what you would do then, you would sign in. It would ask you again to sign in. You would sign in with your password. You would click open. Then you would click tap to open aet.aetx. That's the file, the certificate that you have to download on your phone so you can get the 8.1 updates and many more updates. Um, also, once you tap the screen, if you tap the screen and it doesn't allow you to download the aet.aetx file, all you have to do is click the browser at the bottom, the browser tab, which will pull up the keyboard and on that keyboard you will hit enter. Once you do that, then it will go ahead and run and um, send you to the next step which would um, require for you to um, add a workplace account. All you have to do is click, t click or tap add and then you're good to go. You will not see any confirmations once you hit add. It's okay and safe to hit add. You won't see no confirmation but the certificate will be on your phone. Once that is done you will go to the third and final step basically you will download um what is it the um okay okay this is what you would do i'm going to show you this on the computer but you will do this from your windows phone store on your windows phone device basically let's go to windows phone dot com and we will search you will search this on your phone basically it's the developers preview I believe or is it preview for developer I could be saying that backwards people hold on hold. bear with me for a second um, let's see um, one second um, preview yes you will download preview for developers once you um, search preview for developers, you will download it to your phone and install it to your phone. Basically, you won't be doing this from the PC like I'm showing you in this demonstration. You will basically be doing this from your phone. So once you pull this up, download on your phone, you will see this on your phone. It will say preview for developers. You will click next, which will bring you to this terms and condition once you read the terms and condition which a lot of people don't read anyway they just accept it you will click us up and you will come to this basically once again you will be signing in with your Microsoft account and once you click sign in you will come to this next step which is the preview for developers you would check the box that says enable preview for developers once that is done you would tap on done and you will have this screen the last step which says success you are done that is nothing else you need to do all you have to do then is follow the instructions on your phone which basically sends you to the settings so you would basically go to your settings on your phone phone update check for updates your phone will check for updates and once it pulls up the updates it will give you the latest Windows Phone 8.1 preview for developers once you have that update you will have that nice looking uh, Israel or live tiles you will have the personal assistant Cortana and all other nice neat updates that came with this um, Windows Phone 8.1 update now if you have this update which is the developers preview once Microsoft released the official Windows Phone 8.1 update which is already out is just now in the hands of your of the carriers and they have to release it you will still be able to update to that official one so there is no need to worry about not being able to get the official one you will still be able to get the official one so these are the steps to take it's simple sweet and easy I have nothing else to say I know I am enjoying it it is nice it's as smooth as bud I haven't had any bugs or any problems thus far I have the Samsung TVS Neo with Sprint um, be patient people when you're updating it takes a little time so be patient 
I know I updated for my device and I updated for my mother's device. My mother has the Nokia Lumia 920 with AT&T and she has the GDR3 release version of Windows Phone and once I updated hers it only took 20 minutes. But when I did it with my Samsung TV as Neo with Sprint it took like 45 minutes. You know I don't know why it took that long. I'm guessing because it had so much updates that it had to go through and and it, and it did but my mother's had like very little updates and she had the whole copy with no problem but me on the other end you know it took forever but hey that's sprint for you so I'm not gonna complain I'm not gonna build I'm just helping everybody out to get it early so they won't have to wait to mid or late summer to get this update and they can enjoy themselves so once again, ladies and gentlemen, this wraps it up for my video review. I hope it was very helpful, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned. I should have a video up on YouTube, too, as well, showing you what it looks like on my Samsung TV S Neo with Sprint.